Hi, good afternoon everyone. So welcome to another review video. Uh, and today we are going to do another watercolor palette review and this palette is from Schminky. Um, this is the plastic uh, portable palette um, and it has got the Schminky Academy uh, aquarelle colors meaning they are the student grade watercolor. So how did I get this watercolor palette? It actually is part of the Urban Sketch uh, art kit. So this is a kit that's curated by Overjoy. Overjoy is one of our art supply stores in Singapore in collaboration with USK Singapore. So they have a limited number of this uh, kit available and um, the watercolor palette is, is, is included in this kit um, together uh, with uh, beautiful postcards, uh, sketchbooks, so they also have pens erasers, pens, pencils, uh, water brush and these are all like essential um, for your urban sketching needs so um, I'll just put the link down below where you can get um, this art kit from and now if you buy it right they also throw in this uh, sketch uh, urban sketch show kit I was uh, given this set uh, for review and um, I have this extra pack that I'm giving out to one lucky person. Stay tuned to the rest of the video to find out how you can stand to win this kit. And here are the colors. In fact, I have used some of it. They are really giving you 10 colors. And um, there's also there's an empty row um, at the bottom where you have actually 10. Um, there are these um, holders, plastic holders that can hold 10 slots. In fact, you can um, actually use a half uh, a full pen and that maybe uh, will allow you to have four full pens and two half pens. Um, but for the row in the center, I think it's um, probably you may be able to fit two or three because uh, it's kind of small over here at the end. Uh, I don't think you can fit a half pen. Probably up, up till maybe here. So we may be able to fit a few more. Um, otherwise, you could also use it to put in your, your brushes. Or your pencils. As for the trays, um, I, I quite like that you can actually slap, snap it down so that it can lay flat and you have like a total of like eight wells and um, you can because the well in the center here it's relatively it's relatively taller the walls so you can put water in there so you can actually put your your water for washing and uh, water for uh, painting in, in each of these wells and you actually mix um, on the wells um, outside um, only concern I have with this is it's kind of, it's not exactly very flimsy, but they, they are plastic molds. So I'm not sure if after a long time of use, they may snap. Um, and, and when you cover this, there is no catch. So sometimes it can just pop out. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned about, you know, whether uh, at the end of the day, if you use it for too long, whether it will snap uh, and, and it will, it's not as lasting as the uh, metal. Uh, but nevertheless, I think... It's uh, quite a hard plastic and, and quite well made, um, so it should last you several years. Of course, maybe not 50 years, but then um, I should be long enough. So uh, here are the colors. Uh, they, have a, they have 10 colors. If, as you can see from the swatches is that the colors that they provided, they are very vibrant. The colors are very bright um, and uh, there, there are two yellows, uh, two red, two blue. Uh, one green um, and some of the earth, two earth tones, earth colors and uh, sapia but I, I mean I'm quite pleased that they didn't include it they didn't use black they gave sapia instead because sapia is more versatile than having black and there's no white so that's, that's a plus point I mean some people like to use white color but then I guess for a watercolor palette um, yeah it's, it's not necessary to have white uh, I did a very small mixing chart over here so you do see these are the colors. So you can actually they, they are really a reflection. It's a, it's a repeat. So these are the colors that you can get from mixing. Um, you know, possible or possible colors that you can get, uh, from this set. And you can see the colors are, are very very bright. Okay, let's go into the color in the the colors in detail. So here are the ten colors that's included in the set. If you consider the watercolor pigment information. They provided most of them. Most of them come as a single pigment um, paint, okay. Except the uh, Indian yellow, which has got, uh, which is made up of two pigment, the uh, permanent green, which is made up of two pigments, okay, and the rest of them are single pigment, and also the sepia, which has three pigments. 
I, I would say they are largely non-granulating, as you can see from, you know, can you see from all these uh, washers? Actually, you can find these in the Horidum uh, series. So there's an equivalent, so let's say for, for Sapia, there's actually an equivalent uh, for, for it. But you do see from the comparison between the Academy and the Horidum colours that the Sapia from the Horidum series, series um, it is definitely definitely more intense um, and the color is slightly different this one looks a bit more chalky but this one looks more uh, there seem to be more more pigment so similarly this is the green um, in the horridum series when i actually compared the the pigment information this is the equivalent and it's called permanent green olive so if you can see it's slightly different um, even though the pigment is the same uh let's see um yeah so the same goes for all the other colors um i would say for our yellow ochre is the difference is not so big you you can safely use the uh, yellow ochre from the academy um, version and this is the english red so there is no equivalent name um Eng english red in the uh horridum horridum series but it's uh english venantia red and that the pigment is exactly the same. Um, I would say it's quite fairly similar as well. It's possible to, to just swap it out. Okay, for Prussian Blue, uh, it's slightly more yellowish, the Academy version uh, versus the Horridum version. And the Prussian Blue, Blue from Daniel Smith is much darker. So don't just go for the names, okay? Because sometimes different makers call pigments by different names. For the ultramarine, uh, you, you can see that how, how different the intensity, the intense of the color intensity is different. And it resemble most um, the Horadom series uh, came, come with about three, I think two or three ultramarine colors. And it's the, it's closest to ultramarine finest, which is I think the finely milled one, the one that is non-granulating. Uh, we also have the uh, okay, carmine. So for carmine, um, it is comparable to the uh, permanent carmine but you can also see from here the difference in the intensity the color intensity is pretty uh, pretty stuck there's also the uh, okay cadmium red hue is it i don't find an, an, a, a, the same name in horadum um, but i do find i found the same um, pigment and in horadum it is actually the vermilion um, color this color is pretty good pretty nice um, I think it's also quite a good replacement. It's quite intense. You, you, it's okay to probably use this in place of uh, vermilion. Um, yellow, the Indian yellow, there is an equivalent uh, in the horridum, but you do see a difference in the intensity uh, from, from the swatch. And the light, uh, okay, this color is uh, soft, the color, um, but it's comparable to lemon yellow uh, in the horridum series. So here are the colors. Um, that that you get and um, if you mix them I think you, they mix pretty okay like you do get pretty nice um, pretty interesting colors just that there's not not much of a granulation yeah so you do see all these rainbow colors you, you know you do get some pretty dark intense colors that you can actually use for as a shadow mixture so what's my final verdict for this painting, this watercolor palette set? Uh, I would divide it into um, two aspects. One is about the palette and one is about the color. So for about the palette, I'm, I'm quite pleased that it actually comes um, with um, so many additional uh, mixing surfaces and you can close uh, the surface when you don't need them so that it doesn't contaminate your watercolor paints. And they also give you, a, they are actually extra slots for you to put in uh, new pens if you like. And also slots for the pen, uh, new for your brushes, and uh, pretty. It's it's quite compact. Regarding regarding the colors, uh, I would say that um, the preface of, of the uh, whole uh, the whole review is that these colors are actually the uh, the student grade colors, uh, the academia the academy uh, aquarel colors. So they cannot be uh, these, you know I can't we can't compare them um, you know like uh, and along the same level as the uh, horridum colors. Um, so as as had tested the colors are less intense. Um, and, um, but they do follow very closely to the hues um, that's actually available uh, in Horridum series. Uh, and some of them are actually quite comparable. Example would be the um, yellow ochre, the English red, and the uh, red 
cadmium red hue. Uh, the colors are also uh, non-granulating. I noticed that um, the colors do wear, wear down faster um, because I actually only use these colors for the for the swatch, which is over here, and also uh, when I tested the paint, which is over here. And I have already made quite a, a, a dent uh, in, in the in the watercolor uh, half pens. If you are a beginner watercolorist or urban sketcher who like to have a, com a convenient uh, set of uh, watercolor that's picked for you and in a convenient palette, uh, and you don't do not really care about uh, you know whether it is uh, of artist quality, um, this is a good this is a good investment for you, and um. It, you should, it should be able to last you for first few years and once you're ready, um, you, can get, uh, you can actually change, swap out all these and, and, and put in new half pens and, and try out the Horatum version uh, watercolors. Thank you everybody for watching this video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, if you have enjoyed it and you've learned something from the video, uh, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the notification bell uh, to, to get a notification when I upload a new video. So today is special because I will be giving out this um, Urban Sketch Show Kit that I got from Overjoy. All you need to do is to write down in the comment section down below why you would like to have this um, kit and what you would be using it for. Uh, and I will be picking one lucky winner and um, who is based in Singapore. Uh, and uh, I will announce it in the next, probably in another few videos. I'll put the details in, in the description box. So um, I thank you so much. Um, and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.